Motorcyclists may get their kicks on Route 66, but Billy McGovern gets his on the beautiful golf course at the Grossinger Country Club in New York's Catskill Mountains. McGovern, an assistant pro at the club, sets out for a round with a golfing friend. His friend is fully equipped with clubs and cart, but all Billy has to tote is a modified club head attached to his right foot. Is he kidding? McGovern's partner has the honor. He selects his driver, tees up, and makes his drive on the first hole. Billy says, I can kick the ball around better than that, and proceeds to prove his point. He tees up the ball, addresses it with his right foot, then steps back like Lou Groza kicking a field goal from the 50-yard line. The ball soars straight and true, and our orthodox golfer shakes his head in disbelief as McGovern outdrives him by 10 yards. On his approach, Billy gets off on the wrong foot and dribbles one into the sand. Even the best wind up on the beach, and McGovern's no exception. Bill doesn't have to dig into the bag for his sand blaster. He hikes into the trap, swings his trusty right leg, and he's on the green. Now, as soon as he empties the sand out of his shoes, he'll be ready to putt. It's about a 20-footer calling for some precise toe work. Billy hauls off and belts it pretty hard, but he's got the line and the ball drops for a beautiful par. The government's opponent is thinking seriously of throwing away his club. Billy demonstrates his place kick tight drive again. When he meets the ball squarely, he gets good distance. Right here, he outdrives his conventional partner for the second time. McGovern doesn't really expect to master control of the ball as well as with regulation clubs, but he can give most Saturday golfers a run for their money with his unique technique. McGovern has developed amazing accuracy with his short game. Watch him chip this one right into the hole. Billy hasn't given up his orthodox game, but he delights in proving that there's more than one way to conquer par.
to join us for a spot of golf in the heart of New York's magnificent Catskill Mountains comes the first lady of the links. Yes, sir, we rate a date with the greatest gal golfer of them all. In fact, she's the most famous all-around woman athlete who ever lived. Babe Dittrickson Zaharias, the never-to-be-forgotten Olympic track champ who turned golf professional. And here to give her the glad hand, the internationally known hostess, Mrs. Jenny Grossinger. Only a half hour from New York by small plane, this is a handy spot for weekending or vacationing fairway fans. Grossinger's famous hotel is set among some of the most delightful mountain scenery in the east. If it's a sporty course you're looking for, the Grossinger layout is just what the doctor ordered. And it's where the lady of the links holds forth as club professional. A lady who's got zing in that swing and belts him off the tee an average of 275 yards. Look at that one fly down the fairway. The drivingest woman in the game today or any day. Babe also is right up on top with her ironing. Constant practice has perfected a stroke of the approach shots that's equaled only by leading players among the men. Shots that put her right up there on the carpet in two. But it's not just the sap who lands in a trap. Even the champ has to pound sand sometime. Anybody can get in. It's getting out that counts. Watch how Babe does it. She uses an open stance. The left foot back of the line of swing. The ball's on a line with the right heel. And she really digs those feet into the sand. Now notice that she winds up with only about a three-quarter backswing. Study the position, how she keeps her eye on the ball. Now the shot, blasting lots of sand. Idea in an explosion shot is to take plenty of sand. Arrow behind the ball shows where to belt it. Blast that sand and dig under the ball. That gives it loft and backspin. Look at that shot. Exploding sand, high-flying ball with plenty of reverse English. So that when it drops onto the green, it doesn't go galloping off in all directions, but stays put up near the cup. That's what you call control. Let's give it the once-over lightly again. Dig in with the feet, make with a three-quarter swing, geyser up that sand, and there you are, right up on the green. Brother, she's really got that ball educated. Idea is not merely to get out of the trap, but to play for position. Now to get more distance instead of loft, you hit closer to the ball, taking less sand. The arrow shows where the club head enters the sand. Here we go for a longer carry. Babe still uses the three-quarter swing and takes less sand to carry the two traps. It's up and over, dropping onto the green for a one putt. Backspin still controls the roll. Reap neat shooting, I calls it. One more pointer from the bay before we brush the sand out of our hair. Don't just swing and pray, but swing and play the explosion shot for the best spot you can get up on the green. Well, that brings us up to the most important, and to many golfers, the most difficult part of the game, the chip shot. Clear the decks for action, Tommy, and let the chips fly where they may. Study of all shots should start with a stance. Incidentally, that iron she's using is a number six. Babe plays all chips from a point inside the right foot. The weight on that side. The grip is the same overlap used for any iron shot, but the swing is somewhere between a quarter and a half, depending on the distance needed. The follow-through is approximately the same length. When the ball is hit, you should be shooting for that cup. And it's close ones like this that are responsible for some very unladylike words in golf. Keeping the club head close to the ground tends to give accuracy. Hitting straight through the ball gives the necessary overspin. Can't guarantee results like this for duffers. How did she get this way? Plenty of practice, says the babe, plus the ability to practically call any shot. What she calls one like this, she's too much of a lady to say. But one like this, well, with body English and a bit of urging from Tommy, and brother, it's in. 
Babe says it takes practice to make shots like that last one. Just how do you practice miracles? Well, onto the business of putting. She uses the reverse overlap, the forefinger of the left hand overlapping the little finger of the right, just the opposite of the overlapping grip used for all other clubs. Now in the putting stance, there is slightly more weight on the left foot. The feet are about eight inches apart. On the green, the ball is played from a point directly opposite the left toe. Babe leans a little forward so that her nose is directly above the ball. Note the knees slightly bent. The tape represents an imaginary line from the ball to the cup for short straight putts. Of course, you can't tape the green, but you can imagine a line like this. Hitting slightly on the upswing is the result of playing it off the left foot. That's what gives it overspin or roll. Now you see it, now you don't. It's a stroke, not a tap or a jab. Smooth and easy does it. See what happens? Watch a long one. Club head close to the ground, even on the follow through. Going, going, gone. Here's a downhill shot. One of the spots where you really have to figure out the roll of the greens. Look at that thing curve. Now let's try another one. This one doesn't curve, brother. It bends. Well, there you have the gal that's leading the nation's top golf parade. The feminine first of the fairway and golf the crowds follow the babe. On the fairway or in the rough, she plays them calm, cool, and collected. A real champ when the chips are down. She holds out ahead of all competition in 19 consecutive major tournaments. A feat never accomplished by any other golfer, man or gal. A great sporting figure, win, lose, or draw. <laughs> In tournaments across the country, both amateur and pro, the babe has blazed a trail of victory against all comers. Rising like a rocket after two years of retirement, the greatest crowd pleaser in the game has become the phenom of the fairway. When the opposition is hottest, the going is the toughest. When opponents start getting the rage, that's when the babe buckles down and plays inspired golf. One of the really great competitors of the game, she's called Mrs. Golf by fairway fans. <laughs> The greatest gal golfer of them all, the world of sports salutes Babe Zaharias, leading lady of the links.